What's up, fellow nerds? Maniac the Geek here. I'm here in my uh, geek den. And um, I just wanted to do a um, quick little mail call video for you guys. Um, so I got a couple things in the mail. I've gotten a few things over the um, last, since the last time I did a mail call video. But uh, I've put some of those things away and I've um, uh, gotten other things. So um, I just wanted to do a quick mail call and uh, just show you a couple of things. So um, I only have a couple of things. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And um, the big thing that I got is I got the um, May um, subscription box for the Smuggler's Bounty for Star Wars. Sorry, I keep looking at it just to see what I got. Uh, I got the May uh, subscription bounty, the May box for the subscription, the, the subscription for Smuggler's Bounty. Sorry, I don't know why I can't say that. Um, so, uh, this, this, uh, box is the 40th anniversary Star Wars edition, and, um, I don't have no idea what's in it. I have been, um, spoiled a little bit on, uh, Facebook, that since I'm a, a, a member and since I get the boxes, I get little updates and they post stuff occasionally about the boxes, and I've actually seen what the big pop is in it and everything like that but I haven't seen it up close obviously I have it now so I haven't seen it up close so I don't know anything else I don't know anything else in, in the box besides that big pop I don't know the small things I don't know anything about it so I'm going to go through that with you and then I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I've gotten in the mail all right so uh, let me show you what I got all right so first things first I got the Warlock and the Infinity Watch number one. So I went to a comic book convention recently uh, here by my house in Southern California and um, Jim Starling or Starlin, sorry, um, who is the writer of all of the like um, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, uh, in, uh, Warlock and the Infinity Watch. He was there and I actually got my um, copy of Infinity Gauntlet uh, signed by him. So unfortunately, I tried to get this in the mail before I went, but it didn't come to me So I'll have to go and get um, Him to sign it another time, but this is Warlock and the Infinity Watch uh, number one. This is like the What is this the third or fourth? Um, uh, book in the Infinity Gauntlet Infinity War saga where Thanos gets the Infinity Gauntlet um, I have Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, um, Infinity Crusade, and now this one. Um, I had Infinity Crusade before I went and saw him, but I forgot to bring it with me, so I couldn't get it signed. So I'll have to uh, find him at another convention. He's you know, in, in here in California or somewhere close so I can get this one signed, but I got uh, those books signed. So I'm really happy about that. So I got that one. This actually cost me only like uh, a dollar on eBay. It wasn't expensive at all, so that's why I got it. And hopefully, with Guardians of the Galaxy, um, I don't want to, you know, spoilers. If you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, if you don't want to hear this part, just fast forward through this part of the video. But um, with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two officially announcing Adam Warlock at the end of the movie, um, hoping that this and the other titles will, you know, be more popular and you know cause them to be a book that is more sought after and a character that's really cool in the comics to be more uh, in the mainstream because I think Adam Warlock's a really cool character so hopefully that happens. So the other things I got in the mail were I went on the Funko Shop website and I got uh, this, sorry let me change the camera here, uh, this T-Bone. So um, he popped up on the website and I saw him and I thought he was kind of cool. I have no idea what he um, is. I think he's just a Funko mascot. He's like Freddy Funko. I don't know. I'm not sure. It just says Funko here on the on the thing. I'm not sure where what line he's from or what he is. But I got it because it's limited to 4,000 pieces. So um, yeah, I got him T-Bone. And it uh, just shows a little picture of him. And... Um, it says spastic plastic on the bottom. He's number four. I have no idea. So they have another version of him that's green. So this one's blue. And I kind of like it that he's blue because 
if you're going to have a cartoon bull, I think blue is a, you know, a relatively normal color for that. So I got him. And then I got uh, Jungle Batman. So uh, I saw this one on there. I know it's kind of uh, corny and kind of hokey and everything like that. Um, I'm not sure. This looks like it's from um, the 66 Adam West Batman series. I'm not sure. Um, if you want to leave a comment and tell me exactly if there's an episode or some tie-in um, comic book that this is from, I have no idea. But uh, once again, this is limited to 10,000 pieces, so a little bit more than the than the T-Bone. But this one is, um, I really, I'm, Batman's one of my favorite characters. And I just, I don't know, I just kind of like this one. It's just him wearing a little jungle loincloth thing. So... Yeah, Jungle Batman. So I only paid like $12 each for these on the Funko website. And they say this one's already worth like 30 or 40 So I, I mean, instant turnaround. Pretty good. Okay, so now we have the last piece, which is Smuggler's Bounty. And this thing, I don't even know if you can tell, that's a printer right there. And I mean, look how big this box is. This has got to be one of the biggest Smuggler's Bounty boxes. This one and probably the Empire box from two or three boxes ago. I'm not sure exactly when that box was, but um, this box is massive. When I saw this thing sitting on my counter when I got home from work today, I just couldn't believe the size of it. So if you guys are watching one of these videos for the first time or you don't really know anything about um, Smuggler's Bounty or any of this stuff, this is a, bo a subscription box that is put out by Funko. So it's done by Funko. Um, it's done. It's put out every two months. So you get six boxes a year instead of your standard 12 that you get, say, with um, uh, a nerd block or, a, you know, one of those kind of one of those kind of boxes. Um, the good thing with these is there's always an exclusive Funko in here since it's done by Funko. They always give you an exclusive Funko and the only place you can find it is in the Smuggler's Bounty. They also do, right now, they have DC Comics and they have a Marvel Comics one. Uh, DC is called the Collector Core and Marvel is... What is Marvel? I can't even, I don't, I can't even remember what Marvel is. Um, Marvel might be Collector Core. DC... Um, oh, DC is Legion of Collectors. Sorry, DC is called Legion of Collectors. Marvel is called Collector's Core. And the Star Wars one is called Smuggler's Bounty. So if you want to um, go online and you want to subscribe to these, it's about 30 to $35 um, for the box, depending on where it's shipping sometimes. And uh, you get about 40 to $45 worth of stuff based off of the pops and um, the t-shirts and everything like that. So uh, like I said, I haven't seen what's in this box yet. I have no idea. I know the big, um, what the big... Uh, uh, Funko is in here just because it got spoiled on Facebook and it was just being posted over and over and over and over again and I couldn't get away from it so um, unfortunately they do that sometimes so I'm gonna take my um, my trusty knife and I'm gonna open the box okay so all right let's not show my address so everyone can come to my house <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kinda hold the camera and kinda guide you around the box when it first opens. Okay, so with every box that you get, whether it be the DC, the Marvel, or the Star Wars box, you always get a patch and a pin. So this month is, um, like I said, this month's theme, every box is themed. This month's theme is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. So this year uh, is the 40th anniversary of Episode 4, A New Hope. So you have the Luke Skywalker as Red Red 5 um, patch. And you have a Chewbacca pin. So that's cool. You always get a patch and you always get a pin. 
So I'm actually gonna put the box down and then I'm gonna show you guys individually what the stuff is in the box, okay? Okay, so the size of the box is pretty much just for the big pop in here. And this, this month's pop is uh, what I like to call a mega pop or a, a giant pop. Sorry, my camera's falling off the stand here. Um, so um, this pop is in the realm in size uh, with the Han Solo and the Tauntaun. If you guys know um, what that is, the Han Solo and the Tauntaun was from the Empire Strikes Back box, which was like two boxes ago, three boxes ago. I'm not sure. But that was a pretty big pop. That was a huge pop. So this one is um, pretty much in the same, in the same ballpark size-wise. But there are a few other things in here that have to do with Star Wars. Um, I'll show you guys the first thing. So the first thing is you get Star Wars... Um, these are sweat sweatbands for your arms, so they go on your wrists, and uh, they just say Star Wars on them, and they have kind of the Star Wars color theme, and it has the Funko thing on here, hand wash only. So that's cool. Um, if you guys are nerds like me, this would be cool to like wear to like the gym, or if you guys you know go out and play basketball with your friends or something like that, that'd be cool to wear just to kind of rep your nerd, your nerd, uh, nerd nerddom, and. Um, the only other thing that came in the box this month, I'm kind of surprised they didn't send a t-shirt. They usually send a t-shirt in the boxes, but I guess the pop was so big and so crazy that they um, they just wanted to uh, to go with that. So the other thing that came in the box is a um, Han Solo and Greedo salt and pepper shaker. So um, I haven't, I've seen other boxes. I know um, Loot Crate and um, Nerd Block and stuff have done salt and pepper shakers um, with different characters. Um, I'm pretty sure they did a Batman and Robin, I wanna say. I'm not sure exactly what characters they've done, but um, this is in the Pop Home line. Um, they have other things that go with the Pop Home, you know, coffee mugs and stuff like that. And um, if you guys um, go on the Smuggler's Bounty website, there are pass boxes that you can buy and they will send you everything in them. And um, there is, I believe, two separate boxes. It might be the same box, I'm not sure, but they do have um, coffee mugs, Jabba the Hutt and C-3PO. And I use my C-3PO mug every morning for coffee. So it's kind of cool when you kind of get little things that you can use and it kind of is like a little Star Wars nerddom, you know? It's not just pops that are gonna sit and be displayed. It's gonna be things that you actually physically have your hands on and use. So I'm definitely thinking about breaking these out and using these. These look really cute. So you got Han Solo and you got Greedo. It looks like he's got his hand on his uh, his pistol there. So definitely going with the uh, hand shot first, which everyone should subscribe to. Hand shot first, not him, hand shot first. Okay, so those are the only two things in um, the box besides this big mega pop. So before I show you guys, I'm just going to take a quick peek at it. And holy shite, this box, this freaking Funko is massive. Let's take a look at the back here. Okay, so hopefully I can get this in the, the frame of the, of the camera. So this is the pop that comes with it. So this is the Luke Skywalker with the speeder. So like I said, they've had multiple, multiple boxes that have come with pretty good pops. Um, the uh, Darth Maul pop from the Rebels box was really good. I really love the Han Solo and the Tauntaun, but this is pretty awesome. This is a pretty big, huge pop, and I believe the Han Solo has a base on it, but this one has a base on it, so this is Luke sitting in his speeder, 
and you can kind of see it's kind of opposite flipped around but it kind of the you know a cartoony image of it and whenever you get one of these pops from smuggler's bounty they always come with this right here smuggler's bounty exclusive so all you people that collect pops that know about exclusives and you know about stickers you know showing that it's an exclusive you're gonna know that this is an exclusive. So here's the back, or here's the side. Just says Sky Luke Skywalker with speeder. Has a little picture, and it says 175. Here's the back. Shows a little picture of it once again, opposite. And then it shows here the other ones in the line. Um, with pops, I thought they always would go in numerical order so this one starts with 122 and then ends with 127 these three right here i know for certain are the convention exclusives so if you guys are interested in finding these three these are convention exclusives this one the princess leia and the hoth outfit um after the star wars celebration where these got released they got distributed to different stores. So each pop is uh, actually distributed through a different store. So Leia is distributed through um, Box Lunch. Luke Skywalker is distributed through... Um, what is he distributed through? GameStop. I believe he's distributed through GameStop. And the, uh, the Gar Garnadan, the Empire Spy... He's distributed through Walmart, I believe. Either Target or Walmart, I'm not sure. So you have to go to those stores, or obviously you can go online and buy them. But if you want to find them, you know, and not have to uh, pay online prices and find them, you know, in the wild, like we like to call it, those are the stores you have to go to to find them. And then here's the other side, showing the front of the speeder. So, yeah, that's all that was in this month's um, box. They don't even have a card for the next month's box. They usually have a card in here for next month's box. I guess maybe the uh, I guess maybe the speeder was just too big. I don't know. But um, I do believe next month's box is droids. I believe that's the theme of uh, not next month, sorry, two months. You have to remember, all of these boxes come out every two months. So um, if you want to get into these boxes you're, you're gonna, after you get a box, you're gonna have a little bit of a wait till the next box. So, um, yeah, so here are the pin and the patch. Here's the armbands. And here's the salt and pepper shaker. Oops. So there's everything you get in the box. Let me try to steady the camera. There we go. So uh, as as a whole, I would say that this box um, definitely has some letdowns. Uh, there's not a shirt. I would have loved it if they had a 40th anniversary shirt, like that first 40th anniversary poster, or the first sorry the first Star Wars poster with Luke with the lightsaber pointing up to the sky. I would have loved to see that in pop form. That would have been really cool. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the. The sweatbands and the salt and pepper shaker was such a big pop. Um, they could have definitely done a older Obi Wan, uh, maybe with his hood up and his lightsaber out, or Luke, um, you know, maybe not with the speeder. You know, definitely, you know, two pops would have been really cool to see. But overall, this is a really cool box. If you're really into Star Wars and you really want to collect the Star Wars things and you're really into Funko, and you're into Funko and Star Wars together, you can't go wrong with these boxes. If you're into Marvel, if you're in DC, if you're into Star Wars, if you're into any of that, definitely think about getting these boxes. I'm right now, I'm subscribed to the Marvel box and I'm subscribed to the Star Wars box. The first Marvel box I got was Guardians Galaxy Volume 2 and it was freaking amazing. The shirt was amazing, the pops were amazing, it was just really cool. So definitely think about hopping on there and getting these. Um, it's definitely worth your time seeing as you'd only have to pay $30 every two months. So instead of paying that every month and just constantly, re, you know, re, re upping that every month, it's every two months. And, uh, they have an option to buy the whole year 
If you want all six boxes, they have an option to buy that. If you don't want to pay every month or every two months, they have an option to buy all six boxes. So um, I definitely would give this box probably a B to a B minus just because there was no shirt. And uh, definitely a, a comic book would have been cool too. They've, they've, they've been putting comic books in the um, boxes that are variant covers of current ongoing comics. And um, it's a Smuggler's Bounty or Marvel one or whatever exclusive comic that you can't, can't find anywhere else. So I definitely want to love to see that. But the salt and pepper shaker is cute as an everyday use kind of item. The sweatbands are, you know okay only use them every so often the patch and the pin are really cool but really what sells this box this month is the uh the the big luke skywalker uh funko they should call it a funko ride really it's like almost like the size of a funko ride but yeah that's definitely what sells the box so i'm gonna wrap this video up right here um if you guys are interested and want more information and you want to ask me any questions about any previous boxes and see what's in them uh, you know, feel free, um, uh, like, and subscribe to the, to my channel and like my videos. I'll post a link to my Instagram where I take photos of everything and show you guys everything that I got. And, uh, you guys can, uh, follow me over there and, uh, yeah, just a really, really solid box this month. I can't wait till next month when it'll be droids. Hopefully it's an R2 and a C3PO, uh, pops in there. And um, I can't wait for the next um, Marvel box, which is going to be Spider-Man Homecoming. So, as always, I'm Maniac the Geek, and uh, good luck and good hunting, and I will see you guys next time, alright? Later.